Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and you guys can see right behind me or on top of me CG Charlotte is coming out this week guys. So this Friday you guys will be able to pull for this crazy crazy good magical cover tank but first let's jump into the news because today's tuesday we're starting we're st still technically in our first three year anniversary uh week should i say but let's go right here we're gonna start the news with the chocobo forest exploration this will be able friday you guys will be able to do this on uh friday the 5th of july july 5th so uh, you're gonna be able to fight the chocobo e uh, chocobo eater Let's see what Mr. Koopo has to say. Prepare countermeasures for Paralyze and Confuse Koopo. The Chocobo Eater is vulnerable to fire, defense, and spirit reduction. Uh, so make sure you bring your Xeno of the Beta Star or Axe Star and you guys will be able to destroy this boss. Beware as the Chocobo Eater uses an attack that can reduce half of your current health and reduce your status as well, Koopo. Uh, mission reward, you're going to be able to get a 5% Moogul, which is always, always good. Uh, complete the quest, you get Chocobo Reigns, which is an accessory. Defense and Spirit plus 15. Boost win resistance by 30%. This thing is really, really good. And boost HP by 20%. So that thing is pretty, pretty damn amazing. Then, use no more than 3 items. You get 10,000 uh, Gisol Seeds. So basically, this is good for the King Mog that's up right now. Deal fire damage 2 times or more to an enemy. Earth resistance by 20%. That's a piece of material that's really, really good. And uh, clear without an ally being KO'd, you get another 5% Moogle, which is a yes, please, because that thing is really, really good. Then we're going to move on to the next one, as I'm going back down here again. A World United! So the story event for CG Charlotte, and guys, I gotta say, she's amazing. I have some of her stats right here, so if you guys are wondering, she's a magical cover tank. She's able to uh, bo uh, heal your party. Bring up the LB, uh, LB gauge fill rate. She's able to um, mitigate the magic damage. She can buff your defense and spirit. She can break magic and spirit. Uh, she can imperil ice and uh, light. She can do ice and light uh, magic, uh, magic attacks. Uh, physical attacks. Yeah, magic attacks. And her attack, technically her uh, damage, is based on her SPR. Which is insanely good. She has undead killer. Auto regen, demon killer, uh, she has raise, so if, she can equip staffs, so if you guys want, you can put the holy rod on her, she can re-raise two people in your party, she is one solid, solid, solid unit, so if you guys don't have a good magic cover tank like me, which I still don't have, uh, Awaken Rain, I still have my Bosch as a 6 star, and uh, let's be honest, she is one top unit, so her event is gonna be up this Friday, so you guys will be able to to summon fur and obviously this guy right here i'm pointing at myself i'm gonna be summoning fur because i need a good magic cover tank and she is one solid 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 unit i think the next good magic cover tank that comes after her uh that makes it really really close it's uh especially i'm looking at the jp stats it's uh paladin cecil which is the cg version of cecil so this guy comes out really really late a lot later he just came out in jp maybe a month ago or a month and a half ago so cg cg charlotte guys she's a must pull if you don't have a good magic cover tank so limited time equipment because i am going to stop talking about her uh the uh, dagger scout blade attack 64 mp 10 percent and win elemental all right we're going to be able to get a five star select seven so a uoc ticket right here uh the silver knight's gauntlet you guys are going to be able to make that out of the materials you get from the event. Uh, defense 20, spirit plus 30, it's an accessory. Boost ice and light resistance by 30%. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, she has a really, really strong light and uh, ice resistance that she can put up. I need to find thing. I'm going to stop looking right here. So, But she can buff your stats, which is really, really good with that so silver knight gauntlet yes please and these are the characters you're gonna be able to summon for which is uh i gotta say she looks beautiful sacred shield charlotte looks really really good and the good thing about this 
banner guys also we got the unit intro quest so you guys will be able to get two of our seven tickets look at that look at that shield she just she's solid she's just solid uh like i said the good thing about this banner we're gonna go right here because this is pretty much the only thing we're gonna talk about today cg charlotte freeze and shepherd look at those tmrs okay but first this is really really nice five star it's a 5% summon rate. So we're not at 3%. We're going to be at 5% summon rate. So that thing is really, really nice. Step number one, 4,000, you get a 9 plus 2. I uh, guarantee the 5 star, 5% uh, Moogle. Then on step two, 5,000, you get a 9 plus 2. And you get those beautiful King Metal Minotaurs that are maxed out. You get 10 of those. So that's really, really good. Step three, you're guaranteed a rainbow. Uh, a plus 3. Step four, 9 plus 2 with that beautiful 90% chance to be a blue ticket. And on step 5, oh, on step 5, you're guaranteed CG Charlotte. So that's really, really nice. You're guaranteed the unit right here. So for 24,000 Lapis, you guys are guaranteed CG Charlotte plus an extra rainbow here. And a 5% rate on the rainbow. So that's really, really nice. Let's go over CG Charlotte real fast. Uh, she got some global upgrades. We're going to see exactly what it looks like. But first, her Super Trust Master. It's a big, big shield. Honor of Grand Shelt, Defense 68, Spirit 118, Boost Ice and Light Resistance by 50% and Boost HP and Spirit by 20%. So that thing is really, really good. If you put the Gauntlets on her, that's an extra 30%. So right here, she would be at 80% resistance to Ice and Light. That's so strong. Uh, her Trust Master, the Royal Circlet, it's an hat, it's an hat. HP 200, MP 50. Defense plus 25, Spirit plus 50, Boost HP and MP by 10%. That's so good. Uh, that's really, really good actually for her. Then her featured abilities, Light of Grand Shelt. Every 5 turns, reduce magic damage taken for 1 turn, and boost light and ice resistance for all allies, and enables Divine Punishment and Freezing Punishment for 3 turns. Punishment. 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 You gotta say with might and strong. Healing Glory, that's the move I was talking about. Restore HP and MP and boost LB gauge for all allies. So that thing is really, really, really good. I think it's a 150% uh, fill rate. Yeah, 150% fill rate for the whole party. So that's really, really good. Then Freezing Punishment, Global Upgrade, Damage and Reduce Ice Resistance for one enemy. Then Freeze, uh, Freeze, Freeze, Freeze. I'm just going to call it Freeze. Uh, Trust Master, this is the beauty of it. It's a heavy armor, mind protector, defense 40, spirit plus 101. So that thing is really, really nice. Enables auto refresh, basically restores MP every single turn. This is strong. This is really, really strong. And even the three star unit, look at that. Trust master rewards, successor's talent, boost HP by 15%, water, wind, and earth resistance by 30%. So these things are actually really really good. So if you guys get those characters because you're gonna be pulling You're gonna be doing the step up. You're gonna be pulling those units. Trust me those trust masters are really 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 good and so is the super trust master But for now those trust masters right here for the four star and the three star are actually really really good And uh, I'm not gonna say they're a must but they're gonna be really useful for uh, this girl especially in the future fights when you're fighting a lot of magic damage then uh, i gotta go right here in the uh, notices uh was it maintenance no so everybody knows maintenance is gonna be up but this is the one uh, i wanted to talk about it yeah so basically they thought that the 64 bit was a problem for a lot of people that's why their game were crashing or something but let's read what they have to say because i'm pretty sure some people didn't read that so thank you for playing final fantasy brave exvius after a throughout thora throw investigation we have ad identified that the cause of the downloading loop issue encountered by some players was not related to 64 bit support but to the improved ability detail screen meaning that uh, whenever you would click on a unit you would be able to let's say we're going to take orlando you click on the divine renation move uh, instead of just saying uh chaining move or something whatever it would detail everything so the number of it's the imperiled uh all these good things so basically what they implemented into the game so what they added into the game the more detailed version of the abilities uh basically made the game crash for some people so 
this is why they took it out right now i'm going to show you exactly what we what i meant we will be temporarily this uh disabling the improved ability detail screen feature as a workaround for this issue a permanent fix will be available in the upcoming version update to be released by the end of july at the latest the improved ability detail screen feature will be re-enabled in that version update compensation is being discussed and will be announced at a later date our humble apologies for the uh, for any inconvenience caused thank you very much for your understanding meaning all right we're gonna go here where's my boy squall we're gonna go right here we're gonna use squall so basically what they did last uh, Wednesday, when you would click, let's say on this ability right here, I would go here, special, bam, I would click here. Now it writes just deal fire damage and reduce fire resistance for one enemy and add fire element to own physical attack, right? So before, on uh, let's say last Wednesday or Thursday after maintenance, it would write the number of hits, it would write uh, the imperiled, uh, the attack percentage, everything. So basically they had to remove that because it was causing the game to crash for some people and they're gonna add it back uh maybe at the towards the end of july like they were seeing on the update uh am i mad about that absolutely not guys it was such a big improvement to the game uh of course it kind of it kind of sucks because they had to take it off but they were able to pinpoint the problem real real fast so that's really really good so guys like always, let me know down in the comment section if you're going to be pulling for CG Charlotte. Because I am. I got some tickets waiting for her. So CG Charlotte. And uh, yeah, let's get ready for the 3 year anniversary. Because this thing is getting really, really good. Getting really, really excited. Can't wait to summon for some new units. And uh, yeah, like I said, CG Charlotte. She's a boss. So guys, like always, please leave a like down below. Hit that little red button. That means subscribe. So subscribe for more content. And also... Guys, I want you guys to have a beautiful day. Enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm out. Peace.